hello everyone before we start with the tutorial uh, i will give you a little bit preview of my website from where you can buy and download the detailed parametric uh, families to be used in your uh, architectural and interior design projects for now there are these folding doors doors windows center tables these columns all of them are fully parametric you can even you know open and close these doors and you can change the height and the width of these doors and the, all of them are created in details with the profiles and everything the new addition is these folding doors and you can open and close them at any given angle between 0 to 90 degrees and there are these six type of folding doors and you can use them by changing their dimensions and everything and you can use them in your interior projects and before you buy the product from this shop tab uh, check out these videos in which i have given a detailed video on how you can change the parameters of the uh, of the uh, families and blocks available in this shop tab so do give a visit to the website and give me your feedback so now let's move towards the tutorial in today's tutorial i am going to create this design of sofa in in the furniture template file of revit and you can look at these details and everything so this is not a parametric sofa this is, is this sofa has a fixed sort of dimension so before we start let me remind you to like and share my videos leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel also do visit my website and give me your feedback and now let's start with the tutorial open a new furniture template file in revit go to the front elevation and here i am going to add some reference planes uh, according to the dimensions of the sofa the shortcut uh, command for the reference planes is rp and all of these dimensions they are according to the standards of the of a three seater sofa now go to the right elevation and here again i'm going to add some reference planes according to the uh, depth of the sofa these reference planes will help us in creating the sofa according to the correct dimensions In the front elevation, I need to add one more reference plane at a distance of 1 inches from here. Now select a swept blend from the create tab. Click on sketch path and draw the path for the swept blend as shown. The swept blend comes with two uh, profiles and it would join them together. So first of all, I am going to draw the profile number 2 which is at the top of the sketch and draw the profile as shown in the video click ok and then click on uh, profile number one which would be at the bottom so click on it click on edit profile and draw the profile for the for the 
bottom part of the sofa as you can see in the video. Now click OK again, click OK and we have this structure created with the help of swept plant. Now go to the front elevation and now select void swept blend from the create tab. Click on sketch path and draw the path like this. Then go to the uh, reference level floor plan and select the profile 2 which is at the top and draw the profile as shown in the video now click ok and draw the profile one and the profile for it is draw the profile like shown in the video and now you can see it is hollow from the inside and looks like this now go to the right elevation and select the void extrusion command in the create tab and draw the profile for the void extrusion as shown in the video Now click OK, go to the reference level floor plan and drag this arrow to meet this reference plane and drag this arrow to meet this reference plane. And now you can see we have the basic structure of the sofa. Now select the sweep command from the create tab, click on sketch path, set the reference plane to this surface and draw the path for the sweep as shown. Then click OK and now let's draw the profile for the sweep as shown in the video. After drawing the profile, click OK again, click OK and now you can see the sweep has been created. It is more visible in the shaded view. Now go to the bottom view of the 3D and select extrusion from the create tab. Set the reference plane to this surface and draw the profile by giving an offset of 1 inches like this. Go to the front elevation, click OK and drag this arrow to meet this reference plane. Again go to the bottom view of the 3D and select the sweep command and sketch the path as shown in the video by setting the reference plane as you can see. And after drawing the path, click OK, go to the right elevation and draw the profile for the sweep as shown in the video. Now click on join command to join these sweep with the extrusions and with the swept plant as you can see in the video. Now go to the 3D and open this view and you can see that uh, with the help of the sweep command you can uh, create those rounded edges to give it a softer look to the sofa. Now go to the reference level floor plan of uh, set the view to the hidden line or the shaded then select extrusion 
set the reference plane to this surface and draw the profile for the extrusion as you can see in the video. Click OK and go to the front elevation and drag this arrow to meet this reference plane. Now go to the again go to the floor plan, select sweep command and set the reference plane to this surface and sketch the path as shown. Now go to the right elevation and draw the profile for the sweep as you can see in the video. Now click OK, again click OK and you can see that we have created the seat for the sofa. Use the join command to merge the sweep with the extrusion and now place a reference plane in the floor plan as you can see. Place one more reference plane like this and make it equal. Now assign a name to this reference plane, let's say 1, 1, 11. Go to the front elevation, go to the create tab and select swept blend from here and sketch the path by selecting the reference plane 11 and sketch the path like this. This is basically we are going to create the legs of the sofa click OK and go to the reference level floor plan and draw profile number one and I'm going to create a circle like this then click OK and draw the profile number two again I'm going to draw a bigger circle like this click OK so we have created one leg for the sofa and if you want you can edit the uh, radius uh, of the sofa as you can see in the video now select this leg and go to the floor plan and mirror it from the center then select both of these legs and mirror it from here and now we have successfully placed these four legs of the sofa and now we need to create a new family furniture family file to create the cushion so for that open a new file and here I'm going to add some reference planes according to the dimensions of the cushion. Select extrusion and draw the profile for the extrusion as you can see in the video. Give it an extrusion end value of 4 inches. Now select the void sweep command and draw the path for the void sweep as you can see in the video. Click OK, go to the front elevation and draw the profile for the void sweep as you can see in the video. So basically our cushion looks like this, select it and go to the right elevation and click on this rotate command and rotate it like this 
and now save this file and load it into the project place it in the floor plan and go to the front elevation and move it with the help of the move command and then go to the right elevation and you can move it from here as well now go to the floor plan and make another copy of this cushion as I'm going to place two cushions on this sofa So our sofa is now complete and it looks like this and let's add some materials to it. I have skipped that part because I have kind of shown it in almost every family tutorial and it, the sofa looks like this and I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit you can ask me anytime. I will wish you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care. And most importantly, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and give a visit to my website. The link is given below in the description box.